All right, guys, here's another animation tutorial. Now we're going to work on jumping. So I'm going to animate um, our, our pink block here to be a Santa that jumps up in the air and reaches a point of height, uh, reaches the tallest that he can jump, and then he starts to fall down. So I'm going to import this in a different way than we've done in other videos. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Import Animation from files. Now I've prepared my files so that um, they're all in order. Sometimes if you uh, filter, um, or excuse me, sort, um, it might get out of order. One of the things I do with my PNGs is put a, for one, I'll put zero one so that it filters it in the right order and it doesn't uh, try to do it, um, you know, where the 10 through 16 is up with the ones and two through nine is below it. That'll mess up the whole animation. So we're going to highlight all of these and I'm going to say open. And here's our animation. I'm going to rename it. Right click rename uh, to jumping. And let's see a preview of it. So he jumps up in the air and then he starts to fall down back to his feet. So we want to speed that up a little bit. Let's set that animation to about 15. We do not want this to loop. Okay, we want it to happen once per jump. So, uh, let's see that jump again. Yeah, it's a nice little leap. Restart. All right, now when we go back to the event sheet, we're going to do the exact same as we did here. I'm just copy and paste and say when spacebar is down. I want to do something. I want the player to simulate jumping and I want the player to set animation to jumping. And remember this is a um, string value. We know that because it's set off by the quotation marks. So it's got to be typed in exactly as you typed it in for your animation. So I'm going to click done and let's take a look and see what happens. So I'm going to start we're going to press spacebar, and we've got some competing things. It looks like Santa's continuing to run in the air instead of just jump. So let's take a look at uh, how we have it programmed. This says platform, if the person is moving, set the animation to running. Okay, so we're going to make this an and statement. We want to add another condition. If the player is moving and the player is jumping so this says if the player is moving set it to the running animation to play from the beginning right we could either move this set animation into each one of these individually or we could just make it uh, if the player is moving and the player is not jumping, then set it to running. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm still running left and right, excuse me, left and right, my WASD controls. I hit spacebar. I think it, on the jump, it does it, but then we also need to say on the fall. Right, so now we need to change um, and add is falling. So if I add another condition and I say that the player um, is falling, except for I want to invert that, so we'll right click and say is not falling. So the way this reads, if the player is moving, set it to running, except for all these other conditions also have to be. So it says if the player is moving and not jumping or and not falling then do running so let's test it so we've got uh, where he's running back and forth that looks nice and now jump nice leap for Santa looks great see you in the next video